what's up guys my name is namesh and today we are going to learn about types of computers computers can be classified in different ways according to its working principles purpose and size according to its working principle we can divide it into analog digital and hybrid according to purpose general purpose and special purpose according to analog it is used to process analog data which is in the form of continuous physical phenomena such as electrical voltage mechanical pressure or hydraulic water flow quantities analog computer operates by measuring rather than counting digital computer a computer that performs calculation and logical operation with digits this type of computer is used for business and scientific applications hybrid computer a mixture of both analog and digital hybrid computer utilize the best qualities of both analog and digital uh, digital computer it is best suited in situations where the display is required in digital format but the that data is in analog format for example in an icu of the hospital analog devices may measure a patient's heart function body temperature etc but then these measurements are converted into numbers and provided to digital device for display now let's learn according to the size Computers can be classified as supercomputer, mainframe computer, mini computer and microcomputer. So let's start. Supercomputer features very expensive and big in size. Perform multitask for multiple users. Large amount of storage capacity. Very high processing speed and solve difficult and complex calculation within a nanosecond. So basically it is a very big computer for multitasking and storage capacity. It can solve very difficult and complex calculations within a nanosecond. Applications means where it is used. It is used in military research and defense systems, automobile, aircraft designing, seismography, energy and nuclear uh, nu nuclear research. forecast the weather and global climate digital film recording or animated graphics petroleum exploration examples craven first compute supercomputer developed by semor cray in 1976 cdec center for development of advanced computing has developed param series and anurag as first indian supercomputer Now let's learn about mainframe computer features large and expensive computer capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of viewer, users simultaneously process large amount of data with very high quick speed Ex applications credit card processing marketing air traffic controlling system bank account management industrial design etc examples ibm s390 ibm s709 icl39 and cdc 6600 now let's learn about a very important fact Mainframe computer are powerful than supercomputer because they support more programs simultaneously but supercomputers can execute a single program faster than mainframe now let's learn about now, mini computer Mini computer features small in size, low price, and low maintenance. Multi-user computer and can support more than a dozen of users. It is a multi-processing system. Applications: university, 3D graphics and games, multimedia, middle range business, etc. Example: PDP-11 and VAX Vax. Now let's learn about microcomputer. features available in different size as used for day to day working single user computer easy in operation and cost effective these are the computers which we use example phone tablet pdas and 
a notebook and uh, even tv applications home personal use small organization example ibm pcs apple mac all computers with pentium model laptop a device which is a portable computer with an integrated screen and keyboard it is smaller than desktop and larger than notebook computer desktop a desktop is a micro computer which can fit on a desk pam top notebook tablet pds a hand sized computer pam tops have no keyboard but the screen serves both as an input and an output device thank you for watching this video if you like it please comment down and see you in the next one bye bye